again, YouTube. How are you guys doing? I interrupt your daily dose of American politics for this very short and unrelated video. Ben and I are leaving for the Maldives. The bloody Maldives. Guys, I can't even tell you how excited I am for this trip. Like, like excitement levels are beyond anything I've ever experienced before. This is how I used to feel when I was like a kid before Christmas and my brother and I would spend two days before drawing maps of our house and like routes we'd take because we had a, a budgie called Toodle Dum and we had to sneak past him in the kitchen every year and if we woke him up he would squawk the whole house awake and then my brother and I used to sit from like 4am outside the Christmas tree um, just waiting for our parents to wake up. This is how I feel when I went overseas for the first time. And I think what's so exciting is that when you travel a lot, that really like pumped, really stoked feeling you often lose. And that feeling is up to here. I've been going to bed at about 9, 10 every night to try and make the day shorter to speed up till tomorrow. Feeling very spoiled, very lucky. <sighs> we are prioritizing surf and I know it's just finished surf season's just finished there now but um we should be able to pick up some small swell I will surf anything like I will make sure there is surf I will make Ben pump like a bodyboard and I will surf <laughs> I've been looking at like trends on YouTube and it appears that what's in your bag stuff does pretty well okay I'm kidding I'm not doing it for no nah, I'm doing it for the views yeah I'm actually very excited to share with you what I'm taking for this trip. I don't know why, I don't know if it's beneficial to anyone, but I just want to share this trip with everyone. And I want you guys to be part of the initial packing stages. Right now, the bed is very neat, but everything else around me is a mess. I'm in the midst of packing, I'm taking wax off our old surfboards. Like, this is just crazy. I've got super glue on my three fingers to, uh, this morning, so that's peeling off slowly. I've got super glue in my hair, which I um, think I might have to cut out because it's... Yep, still there. Okay, let's start. What should we start with? I guess we should start with surf gear. So, these bad boys, I ordered two, one for myself and one for Ben. This is my board. For those of you that know anything about surfing, my board is a size 510, Ben's is a 511, so it's a little bit bigger. These are the dimensions if anyone is interested. This over here, so Pitbull is the name of this general surf model. And this is a made by, I think he said a famous tattoo artist, I don't know if he's local or not. But it's the, what do you call it, like the hand poke tattoo. And then they just scan it onto the board. I'm going to put this back now. The fin system is a little bit different to our current fin systems. This is a new one called Future Fins. So we have to buy new fins. Oh my word, fins are really pricey, who knew? <laughs> That these guys are so expensive and these weren't even like the expensive ones. I was like, yeah, I'll take your cheapest ones, please. Also, I like the design, typical girl. Leashes, in case we need them. My traction pad, which goes here. Actually, that's gonna run it. Traction pad goes at the back of the board and then you put your back foot on this when you stand. Got a whole bunch of tropical surf wax. This is five daughters. They have like really sexual, like a sexual explanation on the back. We've got some sex wax. Yes, it's a thing. The best for your stick. Just to clarify, this goes on my surfboard. So good, I wish you guys could. Obviously got my laptop to edit and my hard drive and Ben showed me this cool thing. So you put the Velcro on your hard drive and this, and that means that when you're working, it doesn't fall off. Cool, huh? Well, I bought this pair of board shorts. I don't know if they're board shorts or shorts from Roxy. Really cool, lightweight. Not many really pee suit me because I have a peanut head. Like, my head is literally the size of a pea really out of proportion and this is the only hat that fits it well. Costume wise, I've just bought this bikini from a local shop called Woolworths, trusty old Woolworths. Um, no Australia, it's not the same as your Woolworths. The amount of comments I get asking that, that's not me shouting at you, like I don't know why I said it like that, I'm sorry. 
I always have bikini top problems. And every time I have surfed in a bikini, that happens. I tried this on and this is pretty much boob proof. And I've got a full piece, very bright and nice for summer. Oh, and apparently it's got removable pads. Look, I'm gonna take any extra volume I can get, to be honest with you. From Roxy as well. Very excited to wear all of this. I'm just excited for like that salty surf dart sore shoulder feeling. Slightly burnt, tanned. And then there's this cool guy to surf in. Also very boob proof and very pants fall down proof. All right, and then probably the part that you guys have been waiting for is what cameras am I taking? So I'm gonna be taking this vlogging camera, which is a Sony A5100. I've got my 5D Mark III. Right now, the 24 to 70 mil lens is on. But a lot of you guys in my Canada vlogs were asking where the strap is from. It's from a company called Develop. And they sent me a bunch of cool stuff quite a while back, actually. The leather camera strap is pretty cool. Not vegan friendly, I'll tell you that though. And then I've also got the 16 to 35 mil lens, GoPro Hero 5, and the Session. I'll be using this most of the time because you can see what you're shooting on the back there. This is a head mount. I've never used it before. I found it at Ben's house. <laughs> is it a head mount? I think it's a head mount. I don't know, man. It looks like a nappy. A waterproof phone case from a company called Dog and Bone. My mate, Chris Rogers, who I'm sure many of you guys will know, he started this thing called Godome. Go check out, okay, Chris has literally just come back from the Maldives. Um, many of his shots on his Instagram, I'll put it in the description, a link to his Instagram. It does, he does like these half and half shots uh, in water. So it's all shot with these. So I want to get a shot of like a wave breaking, someone surfing. This is like in the wave, that's underwater and that's got the person in. Do you know what I mean? I don't even know if that's possible, but I'm going to try. The GoPro fits inside there and fire away. That's my main equipment that I'm really excited about taking. If you have any questions about any of the equipment, let me know in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer. I honestly feel like a little kid at school again. I'm so, so excited. And I can't wait to share with you guys my experience. I think that's the one thing I love about vlogging that I didn't think I would, is I actually love sharing it. Like when I go to a place and I don't have my camera and it's an epic place, all I want to like do is share it with you guys. I just want to pick up a camera and be like, Look at this place! I'm super stoked that, that I get to take you guys with. Stay tuned for more Maldives vlogs. How are you doing? Great. Yeah? Yeah. You enjoy Montreal? Yeah. What's, what's the plan for today? Food. Do you want to do a drinking show as well? Yeah. Ready? I've, I, mine's gone. Alright. <laughs> Just mean that. <laughs> yeah. I was going to do a fake one. <laughs> yeah.